Hello, so I am back with another video. This time I wanted to show you something really, really insane. As you may know, if you followed the OCG, there is a deck that is currently at the top. That is Shizu Tier Elements. I made a video on my channel a while ago about the regular Tier Elements, um, but this time I wanted to show you what happens when we get the Ishizu support because it's kind of insane and I'm kind of worried about what's going to happen to the state of the game. So I'm playing the mirror match with a, with a friend of mine we're testing. Uh, we both know how these cards work already, for the most part, um, but we're figuring some things out on the fly and we're trying the mirror match because it's extremely complicated. That's what I wanted to show off. So my opponent's going first. Uh, he starts with Keldo. Discard another Earth Fairy, special summon it, and then add Exchange of the Spirit or a card that mentions it. So we can add the Gravekeeper's Trap. He normal summons Diviner. Diviner will send Kelbeck, which is a Fairy. And so now Kelbeck activates, which causes both players to send the top five cards um, of each of their decks to the graveyard. And this is where the chaos ensues. So I'm going to chain my Kelbeck, because it has another effect, it's a Hand Trap. Um, so I can bounce one of his special summon monsters since the card was sent from his deck or hand to the graveyard. I'm going to target the level 4. Uh, special summon it. Okay, now we resolve his kill back. And we both mill 5. Okay. Now, we both have <laughs> several trigger effects going off. So he has a Guido, which will mill 5 more. He has Hafenus, which can fusion summon. And... Midora, this is a quick effect, not a trigger effect. So then we have, for me, I have Agito, and I also have Halfinus. And then I have Salik, which is a trigger effect. And then Rhino Heart is also a trigger effect. And this is a quick effect. <laughs> okay, so now we both have to... We have to use our priority rules to figure out how these things resolve. So the turn player gets priority for trigger effects first. He chooses which ones to activate and which chain order they are. Okay. So he does Agito and Hopfinus. We're writing all this out because it's, as you'll see, it's a massive pain in the ass to keep track of. Um, so we're writing these down. Okay, chain link three. So, so then priority passes to me. I activate my Hopfinus to fusion summon and Salik the the continuous trap to to search. Uh, I can't actually I can't activate this because I don't have a tier elements card in my hand, so you can't legally activate it. Uh, this one I'm choosing not to activate because I don't want <laughs> to build. I put it to mill five more um, at the moment. Okay, so then we go to quick effects. I already passed it back to my opponent. Now we go for quick effects, uh, which Medora can target up to uh, five cards or up to three cards in either graveyard and shuffle them into the deck. Okay, so he's going to declare his targets. So this is chain link five. By the way, this is all the same chain. We haven't resolved it. Okay. There's Medora. He's targeting, he's targeting his Kelbeck. And then two tier names in my grave, because if he shuffles them back in, they cannot. This one cannot fusion summon or it cannot resolve, because it needs to fuse using itself as one of the materials. Okay, we're done, right? No, we're not done because I also have a quick effect. So priority passes back to me. I'm going with Medora, which does the the, the same the same one. Uh, so target up to three cards in either player's graveyard and shuffle them into the deck. So I'm going to target, this is chain link 6 by the way, I'm targeting my opponent's Huffiness so we can't fusion summon, or so it doesn't resolve. I'm targeting my continuous trap to get him back in the deck. And then I'm targeting his Keldo. Um, he has used this effect already this turn, but I don't want him to have access to it next turn, so I'm going to shuffle it into the deck. Okay, now we resolve. Chain link 6 resolves. <laughs> so we, we shuffle. Um... I know heart gets shuffled in by my opponent. Uh, this is Salik resolving to search uh, Shaylin. And then we're milling because he activated a Guido, so we're both going to mill five again. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> and. Okay, so then my opponent. Uh, now we go turn player again. Um, okay, chain link one, Shaylin. Chain link two, a Guido. Chain link three, okay, yeah. So I was writing this out for it. So you, you forgot to write it out, but I was just writing down. This is my opponent's. Um, 
Okay, so then he activates Shaylin, priority passes back to me. I activate uh, Agido, Chainlink 3, which is this one, to mill 5 more. Since I didn't activate it last time, so I can still use this one uh, to mill 5. Um, I don't know if this is a good idea, but <laughs> I'm just doing it. Uh, and then, god, okay, Chainlink 3, my Shaylin to, to Fusion Summon. Okay. Well, again, we have to. I, I can't imagine trying to keep track of this without writing this stuff out. So then my opponent activates Keldo, targeting my two tier names plus my Keldo. Okay. Then we resolve it. That was Chainlink 5, by the way. So only only five Chainlinks that time. Easy. Okay, resolve. Chainlink doesn't resolve because it will shuffle back in. Uh, resolving my Aguido, so we both mill 5 again. By the way, this is all turn 1. Uh, this is still my opponent's turn 1. He hasn't even passed turn, so... Uh, in case you needed a reminder about that. Um, okay, so we're resolving, resolving... Resolving... Okay. Now I do Chainlink 1, Meru, Chainlink 2, Keldo... Or Rhino. To fuse, I'm sorry, I think I meant Shaylin. Uh, yeah. To fuse into the, oh no, no, it was Miro. Then it fuse into Kaleido Heart, which can tell, shuffle one of my opponent's cards back in. Okay, so I'm gonna shuffle that Diviner so he can't go for like Barone. Okay, then he sets one and passes. Okay, Whew. breather. Take a breather, that was turn one. All right, now my turn. Okay, Ruffa as he flips Gravekeeper's Trap. So this is pretty good because he has Exchange of the Spirit in his graveyard, which means I can't activate any card effects in my graveyard or special summon monsters from my graveyard. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that's what the card says, though. So I'm basically locked out of uh, doing the stuff that I need to do for my deck. I need to get rid of that trap. So I'm going to Terraforming, search the field spell. Okay. And then he's going to activate Gravekeeper's Trap since it's main phase only. So he's going to send Keldo, which has, again, quick effect to shuffle cards back in. And now he's going to search Kelbeck, which is the hand trap. I can bounce one of my special summon monsters. I'm going to activate the field spell. Okay, search a tier elements monster. I'm going to search Reno Heart. Seems like a safe bet. Uh, oh no, sorry, I changed my mind. I uh, decided instead to search Shaylin because I want a normal summon Diviner. And go for Bronze. So I'm going to go Diviner, send Keldo. I can't activate any of these right now because of the... Gravekeeper's Trap, but my opponent still can. Uh, this triggers Kelbeck since a monster was sent, or since a card was sent from my deck to my graveyard. So he's going to target one of my special summon monsters. Uh, bounce it back to my hand. Okay. Any special summons is Kelbeck. Um, okay. Now I activate Shaylin. Special send. Now he's going to activate his statue. Uh, while I can't, I don't, while I don't have access to my graveyard, he's going to target cards. And either play his graveyard and shuffle them back into the deck. So it's going to shuffle mine. And it makes sense. So I can't use them later. Now I synchro for 10 into Barone. Okay, there's a card we all know, right? That's simple. I pop the trap because I, I want to be able to use my graveyard. Go for battle phase attack. Okay, that was turn two. We are at 22 minutes. And this is like, by the way, this is... We, we're both familiar with this these cards already. So imagine trying to explain this to someone who is... Not that familiar. Okay, my opponent goes, no, not a good draw, unfortunately for him. Uh, he normal summons Meru. Uh, I choose not to negate and destroy with Barone because that'll activate the effect to fusion summon. And yeah, that's <laughs> it's pretty hard to do, to stop this deck, yeah, in case you haven't noticed. So he mills, he mills the trap, you can add one back. Or sorry, you can, yeah, you can add Shaylin. Okay, now he activates Shaylin, sends Diviner. Mills three more. Now you can fusion summon. So these both trigger at the same time. And now I can activate Barone. Uh, well, I don't have to, but I'll negate one of the fusion summons. And then the other one still resolves. Okay. Oh, we're just like, there was a misclick there. But resolving the other one. Summon Kikalos. Okay, I said that's fine. Now he sends with Sha he sends Shaylin. Turn player. <laughs> triggers first to Shaylin to Fusion Summon. I chain my Kelbeck since the card was sent from my opponent's deck to the graveyard. I'm going to target the Kip Kelbeck. So I'll Special Summon and then bounce it back to the extra deck so he can't use it to Fuse. Okay. 
shovels. So he still has to resolve it as much as he can, so he summons another Kikolos. Then he activates the other effect of Kikolos to send himself and summon the Meru. So he's going to mill 8 cards now in total, because both of them will activate. Oh my god, okay. So he mills. Then he does, uh, Shailen, or no, sorry, Salik will search Halfianus. I think he forgot to mill three more. Uh, yeah, he was supposed to mill eight, I think, but yeah, that was, uh, that was turn three, so he passes back. Okay, I go out a Dark Ruler for some reason, okay. Uh, I'm choosing to tag out during the standby phase to summon Diviners, just for fun. To get back the, uh, Barone. I send Kelbeck just for fun. I don't need to do that. It's obviously not a good play. But then we would mill more. And then we would do the same thing. Turn player, opponent, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. Um, yeah. yeah, so that entire match took 40 minutes for one game. <laughs> for one game. Now, not even a match. It was just one game. It took 40 minutes to do that when we already had familiarity with the cards. So, like, imagine trying to do this at, like, a real-life tournament. Um, <laughs> how are you going to finish matches on time? That was a one single game. One game. These cards are a problem. The Ishizu cards. Um, I don't really know what else to say about it. This is insane. Not going to be a fun format <laughs> when they come out. Alright, that was the entire video. Thanks for watching. Peace.